Michelle Phillips' influence on American folk rock is timeless, and thankfully, so is she. Now, just a year away from entering her 80s, Michelle continues to rock on through life with a pep in her step. Although her music might be magical, the real magic lies in her simple diet. In this video, we'll be going over the five foods that Michelle Phillips avoids to stay active for longer. Stick around until the end of the video, and we'll tell you all about the food that you should be eating. Born on June 4, 1944, Michelle Phillips is an American singer, songwriter, and actress who is best known as one of the members of the folk rock group The Mamas and the Papas. The Mamas and the Papas were a prominent band in the 1960s and are known for hit songs like California Dreamin', Monday Monday, and Creaky Alley. Although the group itself was quite successful, internal conflicts started to brew and the group eventually disbanded in 1968. This gave Michelle the opportunity to develop her solo career. Michelle's next big venture was into the world of acting, where she would appear in films like Dillinger and Valentino. But despite her numerous TV and film showings, her music career would still be her crowning jewel. Throughout the years, the band would reunite and play a show or two, still ending in its eventual disbanding, until finally, the group would disband one last time as each of the other members passed away leaving Michelle as the only living member of this iconic group. But Michelle takes being a living legend in stride, all thanks to the omission of these five popular foods. The first item on this list should come as no surprise because every health expert has echoed this, and it's time we listened. Processed meats are dangerous to our health and should be avoided as much as possible. Foods such as bacon, ham, spam, and hot dogs all shorten our lifespans as soon as we eat them. There's even research that shows that eating a hot dog shortens your lifespan by 36 minutes. The reason behind processed meats being unhealthy is because of, well, everything. Processed meats are high in sodium, unhealthy fats, and artificial additives that increase the chances of adverse health effects. The sodium and unhealthy fats all help increase the cholesterol in our body, leaving us more prone to heart diseases and stroke. The artificial additives that are mixed in to help preserve the meat have also been linked to increased risk of certain cancers. Processed meats are calorie-dense but often lack the nutritional value of lean protein sources. Consuming high-calorie processed meats without proper portion control can contribute to weight gain and obesity which are risk factors for various chronic diseases. So as much as we wish that bacon is good for us, it's time to accept the fact that it isn't. And that isn't even the hardest truth on this list. Next on this list is everyone's favorite sugary drink, soda. It's sweet, it's refreshing, and it's shortening our lives by years. Soda is practically legal poison with the amount of adverse health effects it offers. One of the ways it shortens our lifespan is by introducing dangerous amounts of sugars into our system in a single serving. A single can of Coca-Cola holds as much as 39 grams of sugar, which is way above the recommended daily serving of sugar that any human should have. Consuming excessive amounts of sugar is associated with weight gain, obesity, and an increased risk of chronic conditions such as type 2 diabetes. Not only does the excessive amount of sugar harm our body's circulation, but it also contributes towards tooth decay. The sugar in soda feeds harmful bacteria in the mouth, leading to the production of acids that can erode tooth enamel and result in cavities. Soda is also highly acidic, and that also contributes to dental erosion and gum problems. Some studies have also linked high soda consumption with early onset osteoporosis due to soda's high phosphoric acid content, which can interfere with calcium absorption. But sugar doesn't have to come in cola form to be considered harmful. Continuing with our crusade against sugar, we have desserts. To most people, desserts aren't truly restricted to after a meal. Some people have them in the morning without even knowing it. That's right. Foods such as waffles and pancakes drenched in syrup count as dessert. The high added sugar content of desserts often comes with the lack of essential nutrients that our body needs to function, which leads to overconsumption of these desserts. Overconsumption of sugary foods can lead to weight gain and obesity, which are associated with various health issues, including heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and certain types of cancer. One negative effect of added sugars that is often overlooked is how it affects our liver. Excess sugar consumption, especially in the form of fructose, can have adverse effects on the liver, potentially leading to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and other liver-related problems. And to make matters worse, excess sugars can also affect our mental health. And before you go looking for artificial sweeteners with low sugar content, just know that those types of sweeteners only program your body to consume more sugary food. 
The food industry really is ripe with products that can lower your overall wellness. And the next item on this list might just be the biggest offender when it comes to false advertising. For all our lives, we've been told to have a hearty breakfast that includes cereals because of the carbohydrate and fiber content. But now we must accept that this is actually a scam and is outdated. Most popular cereals on the market today are being marketed towards children or the processed sugary cereals. Colorful cereals such as Trix, Fruit Loops, and Pretty Pebbles are some of the worst offenders in this case due to their excessive use of artificial coloring to make their products more appealing. These colorful dyes have been linked to various types of cancer, and some have even been banned in other countries due to this risk. Another way cereals have been slowly lowering our lifespan is by adding more and more sugar. When we eat breakfast, we expect to have a well of energy that can get us through the day. But what you may be experiencing with cereal is a sugar rush. Sugary cereals can cause rapid spikes and crashes in blood sugar levels. Over time, this can lead to insulin resistance, which is a risk factor for type 2 diabetes and other health issues that can reduce lifespan. But enough with the sugary side, next we need to talk about savory. Everyone loves fried food, it's just a common truth for the public. People love frying chicken, eggs, and heck, even watermelons. But what people don't know is that the food you fry may end up frying you in the future. This is because fried foods are basically soaked in a bath of oils and fats that clog up our circulatory system. Many fried foods are prepared using oils and fats that contain trans fats, which are harmful artificial fats. Trans fats raise bad cholesterol levels and lower good cholesterol levels, increasing the risk of heart disease. A diet high in fried foods have been linked to an increased risk of heart disease, including conditions like coronary artery disease, heart attacks, and strokes. The unhealthy fats and high calorie content of fried foods can contribute to these issues. But of course, not everything fried will kill you, and not everything sweet is dangerous to your health. For that, there are things that Michelle eats instead. Eating is the closest thing we have to buying happiness, and it doesn't have to come at the cost of your lifespan. Instead of eating processed meats like bacon and spam, maybe go for a nice lean cut of chicken with all the spices your heart desires. As for sodas, Michelle highly recommends drinking lemon-infused water instead. It's tart, tasty, refreshing, and actually helps lower your waistline instead of adding inches to it. As for sugary treats, fruits are a notable substitution. Fruits such as oranges or berries such as blueberries are jam-packed with vitamins and minerals that help contribute to your body's maintenance, ensuring you feel young and look young throughout the years, something that Michelle Phillips has definitely achieved with her diet. The vitamins and minerals in fruits are highly beneficial antioxidants that help shield your body from the wear and tear of your daily life as well. But let's face it, not everyone can completely rid themselves of these sugary or salty treats. But that's just what they are, treats. Treats to be taken in moderation and not as a dietary staple. Moderation and portion control go a long way when it comes to improving your health and wellness. So, try not to live life too fast.